Hey, this time for fiscal policy, we're going to cover regulations. Last time we covered spending and borrowing, and they seem, you know, inextricably linked, and so we covered those together. Uh, but for regulations, the thing you need to know is that governments try and control things. It is partly one of their main functions. The question is, how much should they control? And unfortunately, more is the answer that all government officials always give. Because they have an incentive to always want to control more. Uh, government uh, bureaucracies are almost like living organisms. They always want to grow. And so the answer for any bureaucracy when asked, you know, what can we do to make this better? They'll always say, give us more money. Give us more power. Okay? Because they believe in what they're doing and the answer to getting a better result is them always doing more. And they very rarely consider doing less. Okay, so the problem with this is that as you increase the number of regulations, what you also increase is the number of roadblocks or problems to anyone getting anything done. And it results in a lot of inefficiencies. So let's take a look at this. Uh, regulations will always reduce GDP. Even if the outcome is something that's highly desirable and very beneficial, it will reduce GDP. If you say, you know, we need to put scrubbers on coal factories so they're not belching out smoke, well, okay, that's a very desirable thing, and almost everyone would say that's a good idea, but it will reduce GDP, okay? There will be less of whatever it is produced if you put a regulation on it, all right? So, as we can see here, um, you're going to have your normal supply and demand, and if you put a regulation on something, it's going to move up to here. And in doing so, that's going to increase the price, and it's going to decrease the amount that's produced. It's just what regulations do. So you want to be very careful about what regulations you put on things. And you want to be very careful about how big you let your government get. Because I think as Ronald Reagan said, the president... Uh, the government big enough to give you everything you want is the government big enough to take away everything you've got. So there's that problem. And Ben Franklin, you know, also said this. He said those who trade their freedom for a little bit of temporary security deserve neither freedom nor security. All right. So it's been a, an entrenched position of our founding fathers. The idea was that if you're going to give away your freedom just for some security, or as Ronald Reagan said, that if you want your government to give you everything you want, you're also giving that government the power to take away everything you've got. And as Ben Franklin said, that you're going to lose your liberty if you trade it away for temporary security. You're going to lose both liberty and security. All right? So you want to be very careful about regulations, because anytime governments get in control of too many things, then you get huge inefficiencies and you get less and less stuff at higher and higher prices. Okay, so why are regulations such a problem? First, they simply stop people from doing things. That's the whole point. Otherwise, why would you have a regulation? Okay, so if you're going to regulate things, you're going to have less. That's just the way it is. The second problem is something called overhead. If you're going to say, okay, you can't do these things, well, obviously the people being regulated are going to say, yeah, who's going to make me? So then you have to set up a group of people that are going to be policing them. You have to send out inspectors. And so you now have this whole group of people that are not producing anything. They're simply inspecting people and keeping them from producing things. Okay? So you want people to produce things in the right way. Well, okay, but then you're going to lower their production because they have to do it only a certain way. And you're going to send out a bunch of people to then look at them and say, do it the right way. Okay? So the policing or monitoring costs are going to be quite high. You're going to pay a whole group of people just to go watch other people. So that's not very productive. And so while it might count in GDP as you're getting something, in the real world, what are you really getting? Okay. And then overhead is something that the inspectors you send out, they have to have a car, uh, an office, 
that they report to. They have to have papers and copy machines and computers and desks and chairs and heating equipment for the office and you know that maintaining the building and the parking lot and janitorial services for all those things and so your overhead just to get the job done minimum is probably like 20 percent so for every dollar you spend trying to monitor some you know environmental problem 20 percent of it is just going to like heating the building and turning on the lights and things like that it's not actually accomplishing the cost and so there's your problems if you put out more and more regulations you're gonna get more and more negatives you're gonna get less and less productivity you're gonna have more and more waste in these kind of things okay so regulations are very simple the more you have the less you produce